Hi again. Sorry about that. Um, okay, so it does seem silly to do this in so many parts, but um, please forgive me. Um, this is the only way that it's working for me at the moment um, until I can perhaps, you know, get a new camera. Okay, so I was just saying about um, the little watercolour palette. Um, this is enough to do a, a few little sketchy you know, paintings in your book while you're out. You just need to take a little um, water brush with you. And these are just made by uh, watercolour pencil. Um, you just rub really, really hard. And I've just put some wax paper to uh, stop sticking together and getting muddy. And a little graphic on there, so that's that. So that's the two books. And... Um, as I was saying before just some little kind of freebies um, I didn't want to put any charms on that book because um, I thought it was kind of you know I like it on its own like that um, so I am going to include some charms because that's what you're expecting so I've just chosen some random ones that I thought you would like there's a little silver fox a toadstool, a little arty ruler, and then a couple of beads, and she likes dragonflies too. So I've just put those in. Um, this little notebook was going to go in, but it turned out a bit bulky because of the bead. This is another, um, I think, Japanese uh, book that I just love because of the composition of the pages. Uh, there's there's line drawings and there's also um, uh, Chinese characters, or sorry, Japanese characters. Uh, so the plain side, I thought, you know, is nice to use as a little notebook. But they're just laid out so beautifully. This is a little painting instruction manual, a vintage one. It's called Keishen. Uh, Keishen Garden uh, Mustard Seed Painting Manual something like that so you should be able to find that online oh here are we've, um, <laughs> I've written it down Keishen Ga Gaiden, Garden Mustard Seed Garden Painting Manual there you are um, in this little piece of black paper I folded up some sun print paper um, which you can use to print leaf shapes and feathers and whatever you want, just for a little bit of fun. So I've put the instructions there. Uh, this is an interesting little graphic I found online um, for anyone who's interested. Um, it has, of course, these artists, and each little icon is done in the artist's own particular style. And I haven't actually looked into it, but the little elements are supposed to represent um, different aspects of the life. So a couple of them I have used uh, in the book, these uh, Klimt and Kandinsky. So that's nice. And another little freebie, um, a colour wheel, which is one of the ones that you can um, turn. So these are actually quite useful. Um, I was going to put that in with the book, but I didn't think it through when I cut the pages down, um, so it doesn't fit. So I'm just going to include that, but I really still love the way this book feels, and the size for me is perfect. So I really hope that you will like this book and enjoy using it, and thank you very much again everybody for your patience and lovely encouragement. And Wishing you all a great day. Bye.